Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Previously, we discussed various types of nuclear reactors. Some of them use light water as the coolant, some use heavy water, and some even use liquid metal as coolant. In this video, we will talk about nuclear reactors which use gas as a coolant. Gas-cooled reactors were first developed in England. Originally, the gas-cooled reactors were designed to use natural uranium as fuel. Thus, the dependency on enriched fuel was eliminated. Let's see what makes the gas-cooled reactors different from the other types of reactors. Gas-cooled reactors, as the name suggests, employ a gas as a coolant. Carbon dioxide is used as a coolant in these reactors. Since the density of gases is relatively lower than liquids, sufficient neutron moderation is possible along with better heat transfer. The fuel used in the gas-cooled reactors is also different. Natural uranium is used as fuel and cladding is provided to the fuel with a magnesium alloy called Magnox, which acts as a non-oxidizing agent and reduces the reactivity with metals in the core. Hence, such reactors are also called Magnox reactors. In the core, graphite is used as a moderator, since it is compatible with carbon dioxide coolant. The circulator provides the coolant gas, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide enters the reactor core from the bottom, extracts the heat from fission, and exits the reactor vessel. The gas is then circulated through a heat exchanger that produces steam. The steam from the steam generator is then sent to the turbine for power production, and then it returns to the reactor after condensation. This is how a gas-cooled reactor works. But due to the lower pressure and lower temperature of operation, such reactors need higher pumping power. Since they are first-generation reactors, gas-cooled reactors happen to have low thermal efficiency as compared to more advanced gas-cooled reactors. To overcome such disadvantages, various designs of gas-cooled reactors were introduced. One such type of reactor, namely high-temperature gas-cooled reactor, can be operated at a much higher pressure and temperature by using helium gas as a coolant. High-temperature gas-cooled reactors also have higher thermal efficiencies as compared to light water and heavy water reactors. Now, let's see the working of a high-temperature gas-cooled reactor. Similar to the gas-cooled reactors, a high-temperature gas-cooled reactor also uses graphite as a moderator. But here, helium is used as a coolant. Helium is preferred because it is an inert gas and thus does not chemically react with the components. Also, unlike other coolants, helium does not become radioactive when exposed to neutron radiation. Moving on to the reactor core, the fuel used in high-temperature gas-cooled reactors is a mixture of enriched uranium, which is fissile, and thorium, which is fertile, meaning it can be used to produce more fuel. This fuel is in the form of small spherical fuel particles contained in cylindrical fuel rods. These fuel rods are then arranged in hexagonal graphite blocks. The helium flows through the graphite blocks in the reactor, extracting the heat and passing it to the steam generators. Due to the high temperature operation, one or more steam generators can be employed. At first, the steam generator produces superheated steam at 510 degrees Celsius, which is sent to a high pressure turbine. The exhaust steam is then sent for reheating in the steam generator and then sent to an intermediate pressure turbine, after which the steam is condensed and returned back to the loop. The core, helium circulators, and the steam generators are placed in a pre-stressed concrete pressure vessel and the control of the reaction is achieved by using boron carbide controlled rods. The rods can enter into the core from the top through the channels in the graphite block. Well, that is about the working of high-temperature gas-cooled reactors. Let's see some benefits of these reactors. Firstly, this design assures no harmful release of radioactive materials. Additionally, multiple barriers are included for ensuring safety, which includes cladding of fuel, graphite core structure, and additional pre-stressed concrete pressure vessel. Moreover, these reactors can shut down automatically if the temperature exceeds the limit. Also, reactor fuel and coolant are chemically compatible. Thus, they will not react to produce heat or explosive gases. Finally, these reactors also have excellent thermal efficiencies. So guys, this is all about gas-cooled and high-temperature gas-cooled reactors. We'll be back with more videos. Until the next one, goodbye.